What up, Gemini? Legosaurus. All right, so. In gratitude of pure justice for accepting or for donating a hefty lump sum of money to this channel, we will break in the tarot of the golden wheel. Okay. So let's get the best and highest messages for Gemini. And these are going to be messages for March. Okay. So for the month of March. Is it. Okay, so I'm going to be using a format that this book introduces, which is the golden wheel. Now, we'll begin with number one. Number one is beginnings, initiation, what factors are influencing this process? So what factors are influencing this process for Gemini? Let's the golden wheel. Okay, so we have the ace of wheels. What factors are influencing this process? The ace of wheels. Materialistically, it seems like there's some sort of stability within your finances, or at least that's where you would like to head and ensure you're holding your foundation strong within. Let's look at number two, which are partnerships, union of people, or ideas. The king of wheels. This is literally the wheel of fortune. All wheels. Number two. King of wheels. Okay, now let's look at number three. Advancement, expansion, potential. The wheel of fortune. Wow, Gemini, okay. Advancement, expansion, and potential. So you have the potential for the wheel of fortune. Like I said, this is all wheels right now. Number four. Planning foundations for support. Wow, the six of wheels. Number five, change challenges ahead. The page of wheels. Number six, harmony, realignment and needed. The seven of wheels. Wow, holy shit. We have two more. Okay, this is literally the wheel of fortune. This is all wheels. No coincidence here, Gemini. You've seen this for yourself. Number seven, mastery, inner wisdom, being awakened. Okay, now we have a major arcana card, judgment. Holy shit, what did we just get? I mean, this card. This is fire energy right here. I already know that this is something really good to say. <laughs> Number eight, next steps forward, movement. Next steps forward for Gemini. The two of wheels. Wow. There you go, Gemini. Holy shit. Damn. People better watch out for Gemini. Gemini is not fucking around. Yeah. All wheels. All wheels except this major, which is judgment. Everything else is wheels. I'm going to make this reading a lot easier because it's going to be within the same section. Alright, let's start off with the ace of wheels. Your message. Prosperity. The ace of wheels signifies material stability, success in business, and prosperity. Okay? This card favors financial enterprises, large purchases, acquisition of real estate, accumulation of wealth, and 
promises excellent chances for success and also hints at the love of luxury. In the upright position, this is luck, profit, and pleasure. Yeah. Now you go from the ace of wheels to the king of wheels, right? Now let's remember. The ace of wheels was the beginnings and initiation. Number two, the king of wheels is partnerships, union of people or ideas. Yeah, let's look at this. King of wheels. This is realism. Okay, the king represents an experienced and successful entrepreneur, a specialist with a great with a great life, strong leadership qualities, ability to control and manage the process, a talent for managing money and multiplying income, a rational guide and a realistic view of things. In the upright position, this is governance, authority, and competence. Okay, you may have a friend of some sort that is this king of wheels in your life. This is someone that you may want to do partnerships and invest, multiply money together, right? The cool thing about a partnership within any business and company versus sole ownership is that within a partnership, it's less, it's a lot less riskier, okay? Because you're, just as you're dividing the investment and the profits, you're also dividing the risks and the um, downfalls, per se, right? So it's like, for liability reasons, you're splitting up the falls just as the ups, right? So it's like it's less damaging to your investment because you're splitting the falls just as much as the ups. Okay. Now, in the third position, this is advancement, expansion, and potential. So your potential is the wheel of fortune, which is, oh, actually, this is a also a major arcana card. I just saw the wheel, so I was like, Ew, you know. <laughs> but this is a yeah, major arcana card for sure. This is the Wheel of Fortune, which is, let's see what their interpretation is on the deck. and eternal movement okay so this seems to be more about aligning yourself with the divine happiness and misfortune are the two sides of human life right who knows what will be befall each man will he be rich or poor healthy or sick beloved or reviled Fate may generously give one person a garden full of golden apples, while another person has only thistles and stone under her feet. But luck is fickle and capricious. 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 Wealth can melt away like snow in the spring sun, in the field overgrown with weeds a garden could bloom forth. The lessons of this card are everything passes, joy and sorrow are not eternal. The sun disappears beneath the horizon today, tomorrow it will be reborn with the new dawn. Life is eternal, movement from darkness to light. Okay, so this is the yin and yang of life, right? There's light in every darkness. There's darkness in every light. Make sure you're always choosing the one you wish to align yourself with. The six of wheels. So the six of wheels, this is planning foundations for support. So you're planning the six of wheels, okay? And the Six of Wheels says generosity, okay? This card signifies gifts or a well-deserved reward. The joy of fulfilling expectations and solving old problems. The card portends promising projects, 
timely assistance, and necessary resources. It symbolizes generosity, kindness, the ability to act in mutual interest, as well as a desire to help and care, okay? So you seem to be planning for a life of charity, of being of service, right? It seems like you want to get to a place where you're so financially stable, Gemini, that you're able to give back in more ways than you will not be able to. I was just hearing, um, as I was drinking this mango smoothie, that you love mango as well, Gemini. With some tahini and some chili, you know, you're like, yes. some limon, fire, cucumber, right? All right, let's see. So, changes, challenges I've had for you, Gemini, are the page of wheels. Okay, so now we're stepping into some page energy. So this is about chance. The card favors the resolution of everyday practical issues. There are opportunities to improve this situation and to start something new. It indicates consultations or other forms of support. It is, is it possible to acquire new useful knowledge? The beginning of a new business and important developments. And the upright, this is news, enthusiasm, and a good offer. So it seems to me that I keep hearing throughout this whole thing. There's been a business of some sort that you've been trying to launch, okay? It's like you've been planning, you've been considering, you've been saving, right? You've been doing research, right? It's time to take action. Time to take action. Seven of wheels. Patience, okay? A small reward for hard work, possible unsuccessful investment of resources. Under certain circumstances, efforts will yield results. This card calls for patience and tempered expectation. Long-term projects cannot be rushed. The process proceeds slowly. Everything has its time. Okay. So you can't rush into something, right? I did say just take action. But this is also in regard to harmony, realignment needed, right? So take action to make sure you're aligned with your purpose, right? So this guy is in the beginning stages of taking action, right? He's barely planting his seeds, right? So you're starting to plant the seeds of your vision, right? Which is a great start because... It's going to be very fruitful now in the mastery, inner wisdom, and being awakened position. No coincidence. We have the judgment card, Gemini. Okay. Thanks. Damn. Let's get it. Let's get it. What does judgment have to say? Transformation. Yeah. A wonderful white swan floating on the waves sudden, suddenly flaps his wings and turns into a beautiful woman stepping out onto a, desert, a deserted beach. Who is she? The captive of the old curse, trapped by evil charms until this hour. Or did she choose the identity of a majestic bird by her own will? You do not know, but you feel that a miraculous rebirth has happened before your eyes, Gemini. A phenomenal transformation from one form to another. Do you also crave change in a new life? A different image, a different way beckons you. What secret talents and opportunities are hidden inside of you? The thirst for rebirth and renewal, the disclosure of one's abilities, the awakening of the mind and feelings, that's what this card reveals to you, okay? You have long walked to your goal through the thorns and now your spirit is ready for transformation. 
Okay, so Gemini, so you may have had a difficult traumatic past of some sort, right? Everyone has trauma. I have trauma. It's a matter of accepting that trauma, okay? What's your character defects? What struggles, what obstacles have you challenged or overcome in life, right? What adversities have you overcome? Remember where you always come from, okay? Because when you are humble and you remain in gratitude, you're about to receive more tenfold, which is the way the law, the universal law of attraction, cause and effect works. Not the last but not least, in the last position, we have the next steps forward movement is the two of wheels. Okay. So the two of wheels in this case is agility, right? This card indicates a taste of unstable equilibrium. Is it necessary to draw on resource, resourcefulness and adapt to constantly changing conditions? A commotion associated with work or study, feverish activity and constant movement. In the upright position, this is your flexibility, balancing and advantages. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm hearing change is inevitable, right? Change is always going to come. It's bound to happen. It's the way you react to that change, how you process it, what you learn from it, and what you can apply to your future life. That's the learning lesson right there. And while remaining in balance, okay, you see how he's on one foot balancing on that bottom wheel. And I mean, to maintain a balance in that position seems very difficult. He, you know, he's got pigeons flocking around him and he's just in the zone, right? Nothing or no one's going to affect him or hold him back. The king of wheels, the ace of wheels, the judgment. Does anybody have a Gemini, some type of like sun tattoo or like a sun dial perhaps or some type of sun art within their home this keeps standing out to me someone's obsessed with swans as well okay arts and crafts right mandalas wooden carved wooden right so i feel like you're in uh Actuated with wooden uh, carvings, wooden furniture. All right, Gemini. If this message resonated, make sure you leave a comment down below. Give this video a like before you exit. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. Most importantly, Gemini, you already know. Do not forget, I said, do not forget, I said, do not forget to live out your best.